Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to be here with you guys again. Today we are going to be cooking some vegan dishes, what I eat in a day, vegan style. So I'm really excited because as you know, I'm on this journey to you know transition and go vegan for a month. It might be a month, two months, a lifetime change. I don't know yet. But first we're gonna start with some avocado toast. I love avocado toast. And then we're gonna do a salad with some miso dressing. And then we're gonna do quinoa, black bean tacos. So let's get started. I am so excited to cook up these meals for you guys to try. I know some of you probably eat meat and I understand you gotta have your meat. Chicken is good, I get it, beef is good, but I notice so many things different in my body when I stop eating it. I notice my skin clears up and it's glowing again. I notice that my weight is not like fluctuating up, flux, flux. Ah! My weight does not fluctuate up and down. You guys know during COVID, I kind of indulged a little bit more than I should have. So I'm just trying to get back on track and get back on my healthy journey. Um, I know we all fall off a little bit, but it's okay. I'm gonna give you these recipes. Hopefully you try them at home. Tag me, leave a comment, tell me what you suggest I should try. So anyways, before I just talk your head off and talk your ear off, <laughs> let's get started. I'm gonna start with the avocado toast. So I'm gonna start just cutting some tomatoes in half. I'm gonna cut up about six. If you like tomatoes, you can cut up more. I feel like this is enough for me. Okay, maybe one more. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna chop up some basil because I like basil on my avocado toast, but any other herb works, parsley, cilantro, basil. Um, I also like to garnish it with basil because, I mean, it tastes good, but it looks pretty. I, I always know avocados, avocados, <laughs> I always know avocados are ready because they always feel like a little soft, not too soft. Okay, so I'm just using one avocado and I'm gonna just sprinkle some salt, pepper, Okay, now I'm just gonna mash up the avocado, guys. Add my salt and pepper. I am gonna squeeze some lemon in there. And then I'm gonna drizzle um, a balsamic glaze on top. I get this one from Trader Joe's. You can get it from any grocery store, but I really like this one. Okay, so I don't like mine to be too mushy, so I just like smash it enough to where I can still get like chunks of avocado when I bite into it. Um, just gonna add some pepper, some Himalayan sea salt. Now I'm gonna toast the bread. This is just sourdough bread that I get. I feel like avocado toast is the best with sourdough bread. Um, I'm just gonna spray it with some avocado oil before I put it in the toaster. So when it comes out, it has like a nice layer. It's not dry. I'm gonna mix that like so. This is so quick and yummy, I promise. I'm just going to add the avocado to the toast on top. All right, so after you add the avocado onto the toast, then you can add your tomatoes in. They don't have to be perfect. Um, I'm gonna drizzle some basil on top. How fast was that? How fast was that? Five minutes, see, five minutes. Make time, not excuses, to eat better. Look at that. And there you have it, you guys. That is your avocado toast. Okay, moving on, you guys. So now we are on to lunch. By now, I would have had my avocado toast or my smoothie, and then I would have had like some berries, some almond butter to go with it, or some bag of small nuts. Now we're on to lunch. I am going to make a kale salad. I was originally going to steam the kale, but I feel like I really like it that it's like raw and crunchy and it's just very, very hearty and good. So I'm gonna leave it as it is. You are welcome to steam it since it does have a brown rice uh, quinoa mix. You can make it as a bowl. 
I also have red onion, basil, cucumber, some sunflower seeds, avocado. I'm gonna make the miso dressing. All you need is rice vinegar, honey. I'm using agave because I'm vegan. <laughs> miso, sesame seeds, and olive oil. I'm using grapeseed oil. I prefer grapeseed oil, avocado oil over um, olive oil, but that's just my preference. The recipe will be in the description box, so if you wanna make this or recreate it or add some things, um, you're welcome to do so. You can go ahead and head to my description to get the recipe. I'm gonna just start by cooking the mushrooms. That's the only thing that's not here because I have to stir fry it. I'm gonna just add a little bit of light reduced sodium, soy sauce, and some garlic. With some avocado oil, I'm just going to cook it until it's sauteed and nice and soft. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper, and I'm gonna add everything into the salad, and then you're good to go. So let's get started. I added a little bit of avocado oil. I'm just gonna add a little bit of vegan butter. I use Earth's Balance Soy Free. So now that I have like a good sizzle, I'm just going to turn the fire down on like medium low. You don't want them to burn or cook too fast, so just gonna put them on medium low. I'm gonna cover them, let them sit for about five minutes. I'll come back and check on them. In the meantime, I'm gonna make the dressing. Okay, so I've already put a third a cup of rice vinegar um, in here. I'm just gonna add my agave or honey. It's one tablespoon, I'm just put a little bit more. I'm gonna put six tablespoons of oil. and two tablespoons of sesame oil. Just going to whisk. I didn't have anything else to <laughs> mix this in, so I'm using my measuring cup, my large measuring cup. If you like sesame seeds, then you can toast two tablespoons of sesame seeds and then add them in the dressing. Okay, you guys, so I'm done prepping for lunch. I have my sauteed mushrooms here. I have my brown rice quinoa here. Um, it's really easy to make. If you don't have time to make it for lunch, then you can make it the night before. Just boil brown rice and red quinoa. I would throw some garlic in there just to give it a bit more flavor. Um, I have everything I need to go in my salad here and ready to eat. As you've seen, I made the dressing. It was less than literally two minutes. Everything else is so fast. So this is a really good option if you're on the go and you're like, I want something good. And I want something really, really good. And it has to be vegan. This is perfect. Okay, you guys. So here is your lunch. It looks so good. If I might say so myself. And I know it's good because I made it, right? So if you want to try this recipe, again, it is in the description box. I hope you enjoy it. We are moving on to dinner. Okay, you guys, so we are here at dinner. We are making quinoa and black bean tacos. I feel like these are gonna be so yummy. Um, I'm gonna start with some olive oil in the skillet. I'm gonna just saute the onion, add some garlic, add some seasoning, add some tomato paste. Add everything I need to add, the quinoa, the black beans, let it simmer. While I'm doing all of that, I'm gonna make the sauce that I'm gonna use with the tacos. Chop up all the onion and cilantro that'll go on top of it. Today I'll be using these tortillas. They are a little bit bigger than the corn tortillas, but they're really, really healthy. They are gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free. I really like them. Um, I would wrap my breakfast wraps in them. I would wrap my tuna wraps in them when I was eating meat. Um, my salad wraps, and they're good for tacos. And they're really, really healthy. It's made with almond flour, so that's a good thing too. So I'm gonna get started just with the skillet and get everything going, get everything cooking. While it is cooking on the skillet, I'm gonna make the sauce. So let's get started. Okay, so now I'm just adding um, one small white onion or brown onion to the skillet of grapeseed oil or olive oil if you don't have grapeseed. Once that starts cooking, I'm gonna add the garlic. I'm adding in two fresh cloves of garlic. I'm gonna cook the garlic about 30 to 60 seconds with the onion. Then I'm gonna add the seasoning. So this is just some chili powder, some paprika. <laughs> I just got my weave done, so I don't know how to act. It's like, what'd you say? What'd you say? What'd you say? All right, now I'm gonna add, there's like, playing around and there's hair in my face, okay. Now I'm going to add 
<laughs> I'm trying to get the hair out of my, without touching my face. Now I'm gonna add tomato paste. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. It smells so good. It has the same smell of like when you're making tacos with ground beef or ground turkey. You know how you have like the taco seasoning? That's the kind of vibe it's giving me and that's what I want because I love the taco seasoning, but I have found a way to make it on my own without using the packages. And it's this way, so try it. It's really, really good. Just a little more before I add the quinoa, I'm gonna toast the quinoa for about two minutes and then I'm going to add in the vegetable broth, two cups of vegetable broth, and then I'm going to let it simmer let it come to a boil, and then I'm gonna add the black beans and put the lid on for 15 minutes on low heat and let it cook. All right, so now I'm gonna toast the quinoa. This is just a cup of quinoa. So I'm gonna let the quinoa toast about one more minute and then I am going to add the vegetable broth. I'm gonna add one can of black beans. I already drained them. I'm gonna turn the fire down to low. Now I'm gonna cover that for about 15 minutes. You know. Oh, speaking of my brother. Hi, I'm filming. Oh, hi Ryan. baby I'm just filming for YouTube right now I'm filming for YouTube right now say hi to my YouTube fam <laughs> nut lemonade <laughs> yes I'm making a sauce I am NOT making cashew lemonade so my brother is clowning me he said I'm making cashew lemonade this is not cashew lemonade and you're messing up the video where are you <laughs> farmers market here we come <laughs> All right, so I am just making the sauce for the tacos. It's just like a sauce, like a cashew cream sauce made with cilantro, cashews. I got salt and pepper in there. I got some garlic in there, some jalapenos, some lime, some lemon. I'm just gonna put it all in the fruit, the fruit, the fruit processor, the food processor. And it's gonna make a really, really good sauce to go on top of the tacos two cups of cilantro. I love cilantro, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. All right. So now this is ready to go in the food processor. Okay, so I'm just gonna pul pulse a little. So good. All right, so I am going to check on our taco meat. I think it's done. Yes, it is. So now I'm just going to remove it from heat, put it to the side. So I'm just chopping up some cilantro, some red onion, some um, lime, and have a taco party. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Look, it's Tuesday, have a taco party. You got your own little vegan recipe that you can make. I'm gonna warm up the tortillas, and plate everything. It smells so good in here. And I'm not just saying that, you guys know I am very honest, okay? If something's not good, I will let you know. It's crazy going vegan because it's like, 
you never know how much food, or the food nowadays, with everything they put in it, how processed it is, how oily foods are, how sugar they, sugary they are, how salty they are. You just never know what it does to your body. And I was looking up by my blood type and I'm just not supposed to even eat certain things and certain things I'm not supposed to have all the time. I'm supposed to not eat poultry or like beef. I'm really supposed to have beef occasionally and I'm really supposed to, ooh, I need I'm really only supposed to have chicken like in Turkey once a week. And I just noticed like that's why my skin acts up and I have psoriasis and eczema, dermatitis, I have all these skin problems. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna cool it on the meat and the dairy and I'm gonna see if it makes a difference. So I'm just warming my tortillas my almond flour tortillas. They don't break as easily as I thought. Like I thought they would like break so easily, they don't. So I'm really happy about that. All right, so we are not done with dinner. I'm gonna plate dinner, but everything came out. It looks amazing. I can't wait to eat this because I'm so hungry. Um, I'm about to plate everything for you guys. If you need a rundown, again, check my descriptions and you can get the recipe. So I'm just gonna add red onion because who doesn't like red onion or regular onion in their tacos? I always love the red onion cilantro combination. Mmm. All right. Cilantro next. Trying to make it look as pretty as possible. It's not really working, but. And lastly, I'm just going to add some avocado on the taco. Okay, I think I OD'd on the cilantro. But we are done with dinner, you guys. Here is the presentation. Doesn't it look so good? I can't wait to eat this. We're gonna close this video out with a little dessert. We're gonna make some ice cream. It's ice cream made with frozen bananas. You can add a little bit of almond milk, some cacao nibs, you can add some strawberries to the banana, you can add almond or some peanut butter to it. Um, however you like to make it, I'm just gonna make mine with a little bit of almond butter, some cacao nibs, so I'm gonna walk you guys through the last step of dessert, and then we are done. Okay, you guys, so last but not least, we are doing dessert. We are gonna make some ice cream with just frozen bananas. I'm going to add a little bit of almond milk that I made. That's right, I like to make almond milk because it's so easy. All you have to do is soak the almonds, blend them with water, add vanilla extract, cinnamon, whatever it is that you wanna add to your milk. And I just rather make it myself than buy it processed. I'm gonna add a little bit of almond butter in here with the bananas and I'm gonna top it with some fresh fruit. All you have to do is cut your bananas up. I cut mine just in half and I froze them. You can just cut them a little bit smaller if you want them to blend a little bit easier. Um, and then you can freeze them. I'm using the almond butter from Healthy Butter. I love Healthy Butter. Um, it's called Figzilla. There's a little bit of cinnamon in here, some figs. And just add a little bit like one tablespoon. I'm gonna put a little bit more just cause I love this almond butter so much. Okay, so I'm gonna add in a little bit of almond milk and then I'm just gonna add a little bit and then I'll add a little bit more as I go to see what kind of consistency I want. I want like a frozen yogurt, ice cream type of consistency so I'm not gonna put too much. Let's see, let's just pulse it. Okay, and there we have our nice cream. I would recommend you cut your bananas up small because it took me a little bit longer because I didn't cut them up really small and when they were blending it was like getting caught so I had to like cut them really small inside of here and then it blended really quickly. So I recommend cutting your bananas really small but it looks so good. All right, so here's your nice cream. It's just like ice cream, see? I'm just gonna put it inside the bowl. 
Makes me feel like I'm really eating ice cream. So it's really like frozen yogurt. Yum. I think that's good. Just gonna top it with some blueberries, some strawberries. Boom, and there you have it. Ice cream made of bananas, a little bit of almond milk, and some almond butter. All right, you guys, and that is it. This concludes my What I Eat in a Day vegan style video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you try some of these recipes and let me know what you think. If you have some of your favorites, go ahead and drop them in the comments. I would love to know other vegan options, other vegan recipes that maybe I haven't tried before. I will also be going around LA, where I'm from, um, trying out different vegan restaurants. If you know any that you think I might not have tried, be sure to let me know as well. Um, always tag me in your posts when you make food or when you do the workouts. I would love to see them, you guys, as always.